We're, We're back. back! Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a special guest. Guess who it is? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, special I'm back. Yes. <laughs> I'm still here guys, I'm not going anywhere. She's finally got a little bit more settled, so we thought we would share our updated current faves and what we're just typically using <sighs> IRL. So cute, we have our little buckets. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do this in COVID times and we're finally bringing it back because Rose in LA, I'm in New York. I mean, it took a while for me to get settled, which is why I've just been completely MIA. But now that the place is relatively together and I feel relatively <laughs> together, we're back. I'm so excited to talk about skincare. I think there was a period where we talked about skincare every single day of every single week that I was like, I think it's too much skincare, but now I'm like, I haven't talked about it in so long. Wait, okay, so um, if you guys look up, we had a birthday party for my cousins over the weekend. And at one point, every single girl, whether it's my girl cousins or my family's plus ones, end up in our office where I keep like a stash of all the extra skincare that I have. And it was just like live skincare consultation because one of my cousins is a dermatologist. So between me and her were just like, mm, yes, this would be great for you. This would be great for you. Oh, what about dark spots or wrinkles or under eye bags? Like, we got you. Dude, that's that like fun. every girl's <laughs> dream. And probably like silently every guy's dream. They just won't admit it. <laughs> yeah. All the girls are like, wait, 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 wait. My boyfriend needs this or my husband needs this. I'm like, take it, take it all. But enough of talking about gifting skincare. Let's talk about our actual current skincare routine. And then also, at the end, Ro and I have been working on something very, very special. It is a launch. It might be an event. You might also be able to come and grab some goodies, but more on that later. First, let's talk about skincare. So, Ro, do you want to do the honors and start first? <laughs> sure. Starting with cleansing. I just want to kind of update I guess on what I've been doing because I've been doing many things the biggest change is probably um, I just can't be bothered with a lot of things so this micellar that water age. from simple that mm. is literally very simple is it really has been my saving grace either in the morning or at night times when I just like I really can't be bothered and I really don't want to do skincare at the very very minimum I will use this to just clean my face put on moisturizer and call it a night so like when you just have sunscreen on? Girl, I'm telling you, well, yes, no makeup, um, or it's like the first step of my double cleansing, or maybe even triple cleansing, if you want to call it that. I like how you said can't be bothered, but what is triple cleansing? That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's if I am wearing makeup, I'll first use a micellar water to take off my eye makeup, especially if I'm using glue-like mascara or waterproof mascara, and then I'll go in with an OG oil cleanser. That's, this is actually it. This is my double cleansing. Just for anyone going through big transitions, for anyone, you know, just not in the best mental space, a simple micellar water. And of course, the Crave, Beauty Makeup Rewind Oil Cleanser, still the favorite, the best oil cleanser I've ever used. It's like the perfect baby between a balm and an actual oil cleanser. It doesn't sting your eye, it smells great, it works beautifully. As I was unpacking, I found five of these all open from New York, from my mom's house, from, you know, my partner's place, just bringing yeah, everything you together. Know it's loved. You need one everywhere. It's like the skincare equivalent of lip balms in yes. every purse, in every pocket. And then another thing that I've been re falling in love with that I know, Fel, you just have been in love with forever is the Foreo. I forget how smooth and dolphin-like, this makes your skin. It's something that your fingers could never do. Like my fingers never. could never. If I have days where I'm just using the simple micellar water as cleansing, I'm gonna counteract that with some deeper cleansing. Oh my God, there's a piece of hair in my eye. Get yes. it out with the Luna. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly okay. so good. Mine actually ran out of battery. I used it so much. I haven't charged it. You're once supposed to since charge it. it years ago. <laughs> the battery is insane. It's One charge will last exactly. you another three years. <laughs> 
Okay, so I don't have a cleanser because I just use so many. They're everywhere. Like, there's a few on my <laughs> They basin. actually are. So it really just depends mm -hmm. what I'm feeling. What I'm currently using is the Peach and Lily Gloss Skin Polisher, which is the powder enzyme because it's got green tea. It's got a little bit of chemical exfoliants in there and you just emulsify it so it's powder to foam. I love it. What I am excited about, if you guys have been with us for a while, you'll know how much both Ro and I love that First Aid Beauty Milky Toner. Remember? The this oat. I feel like is, yes. So Ro actually left this a few weeks ago. This is the Glazing Milk from Rode. But my actual favorite is this Coats one. And this brand I have not heard anywhere. Let me first like tell you my thoughts on the road. I was actually really excited because she's like everywhere with her like glazed skin. And I was like, oh my God, I can finally have glazed <laughs> skin too. But I was surprised firstly um, at how light it is. Like it's actually a very mm -hmm. lightweight, thin liquid. So I enjoyed it for the fact that it was very good for combination oily because it's so fast absorbing. I do like it for really hot summer days because it's like a fluid, it's a milk fluid. So it's beautiful just for everyday use. As soon as I used this, which was a brand that I was like exploring, I was like, holy crap, this is the gentle hydrating toning milk. But listen to the mm. ingredients, bro. It's got mandelic acid, hyaluronic, ceramides, vitamin C, and niacinamide. It's got what? like the best blend of subtly brightening and skin evening ingredients. It cushions the skin, you know? It's like it injects Ooh. it with that milky hydration. And then I'm just like pushing it in and it feels so good. And then I went onto the website and I saw it was actually like a toner moisturizer hybrid. So it reminded Ooh. me the concept of, you know, the Laneige. The cream skin, I was just gonna ask how the yeah. texture compares to that. The final, how it settles, feels very similar, but it just comes out more of like almost a serum. The Laneige comes out like a really thin toner, right? So yeah, it's like, it's just plush. It's very like packed and loaded. If you have hyperpigmentation, if you have combination skin or even acne, Print. I feel like all these ingredients will really work in your favor. That's why. Love it. Do you have any? Yes, I have a toning essence. This brand, I actually have two products from them. Jumiso. They have a snail mucin 95 and peptide facial essence. So it's made of 95% snail mucin. And there's also five different peptides. And I feel like, again, my skin loves peptides because it's so dry. And then snail mucin, I think is just like an all around amazing ingredient for all skin type. Actually, especially for a more oily combo, acne prone skin, because this is great for people with active breakouts. It's good for people who have sun damage or who have sunspots, and this can help fade it over time. It's literally doing the most. And the texture is what you can imagine it to be like a very beautiful, but pullable, but not sticky texture that we're all very familiar with. This has like one of the most hydrating, breathable finishes. So I've been using this on most days in place of my toner. Because it helps plump, it also helps firm your skin. And this, $26, so bang for your buck. Mm. So along with this snail mucin, what really sold me is this all day pure 5.5 glow serum has, as the name says, 5.5% L-ascorbic acid. And I know Fel mentioned this in a recent serum roundup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, roundup. Full for brightening. This specific vitamin C serum is formulated with all the ingredients that you want with vitamin C. There's ferulic acid plus vitamin C plus vitamin E trifecta. It's like the three best friends you want when it comes to vitamin C. It comes out like a liquid. The serum should be clear, but then over time it will oxidize. Mine's like getting to the point where like it's about to be a little bit questionable and maybe I should stop using, but not quite there yet. I think if it gets a little bit more orange, I need to stop using it. Yeah, because the shelf life of that one is only three months. It's actually really fast. Yeah, and I've been using it day and night. At this age, sunspots aren't fading as quickly as they used to. I have like a little melasma patch. Is it melasma? Just like a sun patch here that's like very, very hard to fade. So I take vitamin C very seriously. As you guys know, I really love the MediCube 13%. Those did amazingly. And like my skin, it's still like quite freckled because you just, you, you literally can't escape the sun here. And I also want to live, so I'm not gonna not live. 
and I use this guy and it helps and then it gets a little better and I go out again and it's this like, I don't know if we want to call it toxic cycle because it's not that bad and it's not that serious. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad now I have something that I know and can trust and can rely on when it comes to sun damage or like sun freckling. Oily skin, you will also love it. So linking onto the Jumiso train, I'm not gonna talk about any serums today because of that whole video. So there were four, there was the Jumiso, there was the Super Egg Vitamin, there was IT Cosmetics. Anyway, so there's already a whole video there. Just real quick, I think in this decade, I do wanna practice my consistency of using things that need to be used consistently. But one of them is tools. So I feel like out of all the Medicube tools, love them all because they're all very unique. This one might be one of the easier ones to use because you use it with your serum so it creates these elect yes okay it creates these <laughs> electro uh, passageways in the skin to help your serum absorb I try to use it at least <laughs> twice per week but this is just a reminder if you do have a tool consistency and if you're also curious about Medicube we do have a little link jump straight to moisturizer oh my gosh okay so let's start with this one this is a brand called Edom it's a cloud cushion airy brightening moisturizer so it actually comes with this little spatula which they call the fufu <laughs> spatula, which I think is like adorable it's got peptides as well as ceramides and snow mushroom and this actually has a pigmentation blocking for amino acid formulation so it's using the peptides to help target melanin production because the whole brand is also built around melanin rich skin tones so like darker skin tones but also helping with hyperpigmentation but it's the texture guys so you take this and I realized I think there was one day I used a little bit more than I normally do and then as I was working it into my skin when you work it in and you go around in circles you literally feel like there's marshmallow oh. like a cushiony marshmallow buffer on your face and I'm like oh my gosh I'm speaking from a person with oily skin who like has transitioned more into like a drier dehydrated kind of oil I'm no longer that like teenage oily skin now it's a mature oily skin <laughs> It's the mature oily skin that's always somehow dry. <gasps> Definitely a brand I want to explore more of. Edom, if you're watching this somehow, love it. Yay! <laughs> okay, and then the other moisturizer that I just recently discovered is the Tower 28. So this is the Daily Barrier Recovery Cream. This is in the, I guess, the same line of, you know, the hypochlorous acid spray that I like. And I just love this consistency. It's like a smooth whip souffle. The perfect cocoon, especially for like a nighttime moisturizer when you do want a little bit more of those emollients and oils, but you don't want something that's just like oily and thick. This is great and a little goes a really long way. I will say, as with most clean moisturizers, if you're not careful with what you're layering under this, it could get streaky. If I work it in for an extra 15, 20 seconds, it usually just makes its way in. All right, so for my moisturizer that I re-fell <laughs> in love with, as I was moving, I just emptied the good light phase of the moon moisturizer that's honestly so good. It's so good. I miss it every day. Now that we are like in the depths of summer, as I was moving, I like found this little Laneige guy that we got for our under $50 Sephora challenge. And now like I emptied it. I recently rebought this full version off of Amazon during Prime Day sales. Guys, this nice. Laneige water bank cream moisturizer, so there's also gel, this is the cream one, is just like the most beautiful texture known to mankind. It's like water jelly. It's kind of like the Tatcha. Little mermaid coming up from the rocks. So in here they have blue hyaluronic acid. There's also squalane and ceramides, which is why I think my skin just, it just drinks it up. And I also don't wake up feeling like a ball of grease, which can happen. And I just want to give a quick shout out. Laneige and their team actually sent me flowers recently for moving. And I'm like, wait, this is so sweet. Thank you. So moving on, I have just a couple left. 
One of them is this. I don't know what I thought, but I just didn't think I would love it so much. This is the <laughs> Red Bee Refreshing Pore Mask. I talked about it like three months ago and I've still been using it every week because I legit look forward to doing it on the weekend. Are you ready to be pampered? Yes. Wait, I actually used this when I was at your place when you guys were watching <laughs> Mission Impossible. Oh, did you like it? So I used it too. I loved it. Oh my I god. I was like, Beauty of Joseon, red bean's kind of weird, but I want my pores cleared, so let us try this. Yeah. Isn't it the most delicious, flexible, soft mask you've ever used? It's like mm -hmm. not your average clay mask. This you can leave on and you don't feel like it's really cracking at the seams on your face. How does it feel? Like I need more. Oh my god, I'm so diligent. I even wrote the date on this. Wow. And if you're an OG on the channel, Ro and I actually did a DIY, a Azuki red bean face mask. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> because that's what Japanese people used to do. They have the real red bean in there and they also use kaolin clay. So I think of this as like my weekly detoxifying mask. And then when I wash it off, I literally feel like I'm shining. Like it's brightened, but subtly. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get one. Yes, go. Oh, I forgot to mention. So like we do talk to the Beauty of Joseon Korea team and we finally got it on the store. So everything that's on the store is authentic. We get everything from the brand. Do you have a mask? No. Okay. I'm gonna go sun. I can end with sunscreen. Okay. So Ro has a sunscreen. I just want to maybe like mention these two. So if you have acne prone skin or you have problematic skin, you guys have to get this. So you know how much I love hypochlorous acid. It's good for everything. Side note, I went to the optometrist and I have severe dry eye and she said what you can do is rub this thing called hypochlorous acid on your waterline and it will help disinfect any bacteria. I was like, what? I use that for my face. And she's like, oh my God, you can use this for everything. So literally you can use it as a wow. sanitizer, as an antibacterial. You can even spray it in your mouth, in your eye, whatever it is. And it just like <laughs> mildly disinfects. It's basically saline water. Um, but what that is, is it's very clarifying. So for acne prone skin, there's bacteria. So we want to kill the bacteria. This is a concentrated hypochlorous acid. It just comes out like a water. After you wash your face, I instantly put this on because what it does is it actually neutralizes. And if you have any other product on there, it won't work anymore because it will neutralize anything else. Oh. Interesting, yeah. interesting. So you want to use it on its own. I used it for my cyst, one to two days, gone. So super effective. This one you have to get on the Element website. And then just in passing, I'm trying out, did you use this? The ordinary like lash and brow treatment? I did, I just keep forgetting to use it. Yeah, me too. So I'm trying to use it now. So I put it on my thing and I'm just trying to grow this front section of my eyebrow because it just does not grow. I'll keep you guys updated. The last two products I want to talk about. Yes, you guys know Rowena loves Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I'm not going to drone on and on about this, but I have found that during the summertime, these two working in tandem mm. does Wonder. So I'll use the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops, that's a mouthful, as a serum. I let it sit for a few extra seconds, a few more seconds than I normally would because usually I just do everything in one go. Put on my moisturizer, put on this sunscreen. Unseen is known for its more like sil silicone-y texture that's also supposed to be really good as a primer for your makeup. So I think with the blur drops for pores and just overall smoothing out skin and with the unseen sunscreen as like another primer, my skin is just so ready, either just for life, for life. as is. The CC cream, you guys know I love a Borean, still using a Borean. I don't think I'm gonna go off of a Borean anytime soon, but it just stays on all day. It looks beautiful. My pores look kind of like they don't exist, but if you do want your skin and your makeup to look flawless, these two. So I guess that's all. And update. that's it. Empty. Now we go <laughs> fetch a pail of water. And before we go, oh my god, I we forgot. have to share more deeds. 
Okay, without giving too much away about the product because it's not officially launched yet, we are hosting a New York City event and it's gonna be in Soho for all of you guys who happen to be here with the chi, so you might be able to put two and two together. If you're around in September the 6th, please come. <laughs> we would love to see you. We will update the RSVP link below. It's gonna be a really fun, almost like meetup, pre-exclusive sneak peek launch event. So I hope you guys get excited. We will be revealing more on our Instagram, newsletter, YouTube as the weeks go on. So stay tuned for that. Follow all of those to stay updated. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you really soon. Bye. Bye.